This tutorial is going to show you how to give guest access to your course. So this course is called Moodle Train. And we're going to scroll down under Administration and click Settings. Now in the Edit Course Settings screen, we're going to scroll down and we're going to see this section called Enrollments. In a minute, we're going to come back to this um, course enroll, enrollable which defaults to no. Um, and we're going to leave that no right now and go down to the um, availability section here. And this is where you can set guest access uh, to if you click the pull down you see it, the default is do not allow guest in but you also can allow the guest in without a key and allow guests to have the key. So let's start with allow guest without the key. The key that's referred to is this enrollment key which is right above it. Um, now to use an enrollment key it's sort of like a password to enroll in a course. Um, you have to have the enrollment turned on which was that section above. And so right now we don't, if we're not going to use an enrollment key, leave it blank and allow guests without the key. Now any, if we set it like this, any guest uh, will be able to come in, just log in, just click log in as guest. No key is required and they can go see um, what's in this course. They would not be able to uh, view quizzes or things like that. They cannot change anything, but they would be able to see any of the course materials, the syllabus, the lessons, anything that's posted and not hidden uh, in the course. Now setting it like this is also go going to allow students to view a course even if they're not enrolled in it because they're treated like guests uh, in the case of there's no enrollment required. Um, so that that's another consideration too. So let's set it like this by going down to the bottom and click Save Changes. And now we're going to go uh, to another window, another browser window, and show the view that the guests will have uh, when they uh, go to this course. So now I'm on the Moodle screen as a guest uh, just having come to this to this Moodle screen on uh, CampusNet and we're going to click the log in as a guest button then I'm going to go up and click Moodle and Course Finder and let's say this guest knew this professor John Doe so he's going to click on John Doe because he found out that he can see uh, what's in his faculty workshop here. So then he clicks on the course, the Moodle training course. And then this is what the guest sees when he comes in. He can see uh, whatever is not hidden in the course, whatever the professor has left unhidden. So he sees all this information. And um, so let's say the the guest would like to be able to open a syllabus so he can click on a syllabus or any kind of course uh, material, uh, lessons that are in here, and he'll see the content of that. But he's limited in what he can see um, in, in here, such as um, quizzes. Let's click on this midterm exam, and we'll see that he's not able to get into there to see that. Uh, sorry, guests cannot see or attempt quizzes. So that's kind of what the guests can uh, can view in the course. So it does enable them to get in there and and kind of look at the what's laid out in the course and, um, and download any um, syllabus or or uh, lessons that uh, that are unhidden. Now we're going to go back to the uh, professor's page. Uh, in the other browser. Okay, now we're back on the uh, professor's page, signed in as a professor, and we're going to come down and click settings again under the course. And that brings us back to the edit settings page. Now we're going to treat this differently. We're going to 
uh, uh, set the password here in the um, in the availability section, the enrollment key. Uh, so we, let's just uh, give this an enrollment key of guest zero one. It's just some kind of key you might be able to give a guest. So if you want to see what you've typed in, you can click the unmask and you can see that that's guest zero one, or just leave it masked. All right, so now we're going to change this to allow guests to have the key. Now remember the enrollment key requires you to enroll to be able to get into the course. Uh, if we left the setting just like this without changing the enrollment uh, availability to yes, then uh, the guest would enter the key and it would say that this course is not enrollable so he still wouldn't be able to get in. So if we're going to use a key we're going to have to go back up to the enrollment section and then change the course enrollable to yes. And now you, can, you have the option of being able to set a, a date range and uh, enable these dates and change them or um, make it a duration of just a few days or whatever you like. But we're going to just leave it like this which is going to allow the guests or students that have the key to be able to get in. So anyone that has that guest 01, right, once we've set this, is going to be able to actually enroll in the course. Now that's something to consider too about students. Students that are, you know, already have a Moodle ID or already in other, other courses, their own courses, if they find out what this key is, they can enroll in the course and they will actually, since they've got a Moodle uh, identity, they'll actually show up as a participant in the course even though they were not in there by uh, means of uh, registering for the course. They'll be able to get in and show up as a participant. So you want to protect your uh, your enrollment key that you give guests uh, or just be aware that if it gets passed around and, and students get it, you could see some um, students showing up that haven't actually enrolled in the course but they enrolled in Moodle through the guest uh, password. So now let's go back down and uh, finish this by uh, clicking Save Changes and then we're going to go to another uh, browser that um, and log in as the guest using that password. So here we are in CampusNet again logging in as a guest onto Moodle and now uh, we're going to select this uh, faculty workshop Moodle training, you know, which we probably would have done by going to uh, the course finder and then uh, selecting the professor's name. Now we're ready to enroll in the course. So the professor has given us this guest 01 password and they will click the enroll me in this course button. and this will put them into the course just like we were before when we tried it without the password. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, give a, a guest a URL that will take them directly to the course. So I'm going up to the uh, address bar up here. Now this is from your course homepage. Go to the end of that uh, URL and type in and user ID equals guest ampersand user ID equals guest. Don't hit enter but just highlight it, right click it and copy it. Now we're going to go into the users uh, browser to to show what happens when he enters it. So now the user enters his browser and paste the URL you gave them with, with the guest there and hits enter. and this gives them the login screen if the enrollment key is required so you need to give them the enrollment key too so they can get into the course and, and, and look at it. Uh, if the enrollment key wasn't required then they would go directly into the to the course homepage. So that's how you set up uh, guest access and give them the URL to get to it. Thank you.